Good afternoon, urination. Now, this month's been a mess for me. October's been what we in the industry call a bitch. But in my sorrow, in my despair, I was lifted out from the butt cheeks of sadness by not one, but two fine Chinese gentlemen sharing their joy with the world. Look at us, sharing CCP-approved content, boosting our social credits. But I'm brown, so my social credit's probably already in the negative six digits. Currently blowing up in the West, you may already know the first man. Enter Tian Yiming. Look at that cheeky little face. He could be knocking on my door with a bloody cleaver and I'd let him in. Most people know him as the super idol guy in memes everywhere, but he also does a lot of singing stuff on China's TikTok. Douyin. Hello, Hello. <laughs> Just something I can turn to, somebody I can kiss. I want something just like this. The response is so fucking awkward. It's like when you're a kid and you're showing your parents your futuristic ass design for a tube delivery system, and as an adult, you realize and look back that they never really gave a shit. Now I'm sad. Man pours out his heart and soul and you don't even give him an applause. Our boy Yi Ming struts around with unshakable swagger and confidence, lighting up your day by telling you that even a super idle smile isn't as sweet as yours. And a mid-August summer's heat has got nothing on you, baby, before he grabs your heart like a Mayan ritual and gets you as wet as he is. However, China's media control center probably wasn't happy that they didn't invest in this now giant meme when it was still fresh because now it's gone from his Douyin page. The only versions available are the China t-shirt sing-along version and one where he is for some reason fittingly cosplaying as best boy Kisame. I found out about Yi Ming or Super Idol way too late to be honest. But here, here is a fresh and up and coming memer. He's been around for a while but now he's blowing up. Here is the meat and potatoes of this video of which I'm sure this man also gets a lot of. A man so at peace with oneself, no inconvenience, minor or major, could overpower his will to dance. Known as Shang Abi, or on his Douyin page, Li Ming, the athlete. Like a true bodhisattva, he approaches violence with peace, knowing full well he could one punch man slap his enemies into becoming a smear on the wall. Truly, the restraint only the divine could have. I stand corrected. Originally, I found him through this meme that I don't know who created. His charming smile and impeccable fashion had me digging down a rabbit hole, sending me into a tirade into China's TikTok. Anyways, yeah, his Douyin account strangely like Yi Ming was barren of all the most popular clips of him. The watermelon clip, the donkey clip, and many others. I really don't know why Shang Abi and Yi Ming's most popular videos are gone from their Douyin page because I personally wouldn't take down my masterpiece or my claim to fame. But if anyone knows, do let me know before I start jumping down a trail of conspiracy theories. But here's where I feel like me knowing Chinese is both a blessing and a curse. After going through his Douyin page, reading some comments, and understanding the context of his videos, I loved this guy when I first saw him. I had me laughing my guts out. But now I just don't find him that funny anymore. Just like any other one-trick TikTok pony. It's like feeling the last few bits of joy in you melt away. But I am loving his new rebranding as a dominatrix-themed environmental superhero.
<laughs> so yeah, there's this trend of Chinese media being taken out of context and being memed the hell out of like a uh, Xiaohua Piao Piao. But Xiaohua Piao Piao came out in like early 2000s, so that shit is old. Boy, am I glad to see these two modernizing the China out of context meme trend. And yeah, I don't see this trend dying anytime soon. But even cooler is that we can share our laugh with Shang Abi or Yi Ming without understanding a single word that they're saying, even though Yi Ming is singing a whole song. But the best part of all is that the jokes aren't even like stereotypical and anyone can just have a laugh at them. So yeah, leave a like if you like Super Idol. Leave a comment if you like... Or both if you like them both. I will see you.